Thanks for joining us here in Barcelona for MWC 2023, where we're talking about SSD storage solutions. Our guests today are Neville Ichaporia. Neville is Senior Vice President and General Manager for the SSD Business Unit at Kioxia America. And Norm Follett, Norm Senior Director for Space Technologies and Solutions at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks. Thanks for having Great us. Great to be here. Now, Neville, before we start talking about your collaboration with HPE, what can you tell us about Kioxia? Sure. So we are formerly Toshiba Memory Corporation. Uh, we are a global leader in memory and flash storage solutions. We're headquartered in Tokyo, uh, Japan. And uh, our products and solutions are at the heart of and the core of flash technologies across several different industries including automotive, uh, industrial, consumer, uh, mobile, enterprise and data center. So it's a pleasure to be here at the Mobile World Congress and uh, really excited to be working alongside HPE uh, for server and storage solutions for telecom applications. So tell us about your partnership and how you're bringing together some new solutions for the rigors of the telecom sector. Well, as Neville indicates, I mean, uh, you know, Kioxia is an innovative company. Their, their history is innovation. They, you know, have really moved the whole storage discipline uh, further, faster than almost anyone else on the planet. So we're happy to partner. You know, HPE, of course, has a long history of innovation and and you know, creating compelling solutions for different industries, different verticals, and just partnering with Kioxia just makes tremendous sense as we really go after you know the telecom space, uh, and we really you know want to evolve our joint offerings uh, to that sector and really allow them you know to get you know the best of both worlds, the best compute capability, uh, the best memory capability, and the best possible partnership of some industry leaders working jointly on their behalf. Uh, so we have a, a, a variety of different initiatives. Uh, one of them, uh, which is very exciting, is what we're doing with uh, in the storage side with HPE Electra Solution, uh, which really, I think, it, you know, from a hardware standpoint, really shows the innovation on both sides. So uh, purpose design, purpose built from our side, from a compute uh, capability uh, to optimize uh, storage transfer rates, uh, internal communications, external communications as well, but then tied to uh, you know Gen 5 SSDs, which is which Kyoxia is just announcing as an industry leader, you know which basically is fundamentally shaking up the memory uh, the memory business, so to speak. Uh, in this, I think it's you know it, it's I mean it, there's like uh, three decades between this kind of revolution, right. and you're the first to market with it. Uh, faster, smaller, uh, you know less power. Uh, everything you want out of a next generation product. And we're taking that innovation and we're surrounding it and integrating it into an innovative design that allows us to get the best possible performance together. That's right. As a technology and industry leader, uh, frankly speaking, Kioxem builds SSDs for virtually all kinds of compute and uh, storage applications and environments, uh, including emerging applications that HP servers uh, mm -hmm. target like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, high performance computing, uh, and IO virtualization. Mm -hmm. uh, but the telecom segment in particular has some very exacting requirements for storage, uh, specifically demanding high performance, low latency, 24-7 mm -hmm. uh, usage, up to six nines of uh, high availability. That's like 99.9999% uh, availability and uptime. These are not easy requirements to fulfill, but uh, uh, you know our, our enterprise class pro product portfolio, including our PM series SaaS SSDs and RM series uh, value SaaS SSDs, are able to meet these requirements, and these those have been uh, thoroughly tested and uh, uh, qualified by HPE for their telco blueprints and mm -hmm. applications. And perhaps Norm can talk a little bit about telco blueprints. Yeah, I mean, our, our telco blueprints, this is something that we've been partnering and, and developing for a number of years. And this is really kind of, to, to we go to our partners, implementation partners, and we say, you want to build the best in class telco environment, this is your guide. This is literally your blueprint. And Kioxi is part of that mix and they've been helping us prove that and, and you know bring that to market for some time. But also with what we announced here with the HPE uh, GreenLake Telco Cloud Solution is that we literally are, again, taking that blueprint and we're, we're, we're kind of, you know, we're instantiating it ourselves. And 
Kyoxia and their memory capability is core to that offering in HPE GreenLake for the telco cloud. And now we're giving uh, operators and customers an, uh, you know, uh, two choices. They can either roll their own, and this, uh, or if you're a service provider, you're going to create an offering for people, and it's going to be based on that architecture, the blueprints that we mentioned, or you can instantiate it in more of an as-a-service format with the HPE GreenLake Telco Cloud, and you can get you know, that best possible for performance. But again, it's based on that architecture and a, a joint venture and joint designs that we've been working on uh, with partners such as Kyoxia for some time. Now, earlier you alluded to compute power and solutions. So what compute solutions do you offer for telecom environments in particular? Well, I mean, that's a, I mean, that's a wide array. Again, it's based on that, on that blueprint solution. Uh, we have what we're doing with our Gen 10, Gen 11 servers and product lines. Uh, and for a number of years, and we have a long history together, where when we go to market with a new solution, that we're actually bringing the best in class of the latest innovations that are well tested by us. And what we've been doing with the HPE ProLiant uh, portfolio for some time is again bringing those Gen 10 solutions. Our Gen 10, we're about to, you know, we've announced our Gen 11 product line and solution. We've integrated uh, their, uh, we've got a lot of Gens here, their Gen 5 SSD solution, right. which we were just talking about, fully tested, integrated into that, purpose built again for the telco solution. And then also what I mentioned earlier from a storage per perspective and what we're doing with the HPE Electra. And then all of that, again, available in an as-a-service type of format, pay-as-you-go, consumption-based modeling with HPE GreenLake for the telco cloud. And the innovative solutions you're working together on are not just for companies here on planet Earth, right? Well, I, you know, we think that we can go anywhere, right? And we're, we're going to space, have been in space for some time. Hewlett Packard Enterprise has been involved uh, in the space program. It's part of our legacy. It goes all the way back to our founders, working on the Gemini and Mercury rockets and working on the trajectory and communication. Goes through the Apollo program. Also uh, with uh, all the space shuttle programs, all flying HP calculators as part of their standard kit. Uh, and, it, and that transcends into the International Space Station as well. So for some time, uh, since 2017, uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise has had our Spaceborne Computer Project uh, we had now have our second iteration flying as we speak on the International Space Station, but we really wanted to take it to the next level. Uh, and so we're taking the opportunity to do a bit of an upgrade uh, on our systems. And as such, uh, you know, we, we bounced the idea about, hey, how can we really improve uh, system memory performance? You know, how can, we, how can we make great memories in space? And when you're thinking great memories, you know, you're really thinking about Kyoxia. And so our good friends at Kyoxia are partnering with us on our Spaceborne program now. Uh, and uh, fairly soon, over the course of the summer, early fall, we're going to be flying back up to the space station with an, an upgraded kit, if you will, and we're super excited to have Kyoxia on board with us. Now you got me all excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we at Kyoxia, I can't tell you how excited we are to be proud sponsors of the Spaceborne program. Um, it's not very often when you find yourself with an opportunity to work with a partner um, and NASA uh, evaluating a supercomputer on the International Space Station. And, and that's the opportunity in front of us. And uh, we have our SAS and NVMe drives uh, currently on the program. Uh, and we're supporting HP servers conduct uh, uh, scientific experiments and also look at flash-based technologies and how they respond uh, in the harsh environment of space. But apart from uh, Spaceborne, we are also working with HP on several generations of ProLiant servers. Mm -hmm. uh, HPE Gen 10, uh, ProLine Gen 10 was the first time we debuted something like three different technologies. That's right, that's right. Uh, including SAS 24 gig, which, uh, which is a 2x improvement of the prior generation. PCIe Gen 4, similarly, mm -hmm. two, 2x increase. And value SAS SSDs, uh, which bring a significantly more value to uh, to your server and storage systems than legacy SATA SSDs. So it's been a fantastic journey uh, mm -hmm. working with you. I really appreciate the yeah, decades long exper experience with them. Yeah. Uh, and we're hoping that uh, we can continue this innovation uh, through the future years, not only here on Earth, but uh, up in space. Yeah, exactly. And we're, we're actually even featuring uh, you know, an example of our spaceborne computer here. Uh, at this event, and again, uh, we're super excited about the partnership with Kyoxia across the board, terrestrial, you know, in you know, uh, and in space as well. 
Uh, and I mean, as with the commercialization of space, I mean, things are literally taking off across the board. Certainly the ability uh, to have performant memory, uh, you know, in all corners of the galaxy is going to be very, very important. And, you know, we, and have, having compute capability in all corners of the galaxy, very important. And we can't think of a better innovative partner uh, to start to tackle some of those, those tough challenges uh, than our friends at Kyoto. Sounds like a brilliant collaboration with very bright day ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you.